Got to go back, like dang. Exactly. What didn't hit it clean, so it's gonna be a rough bracket. Those high level players, they don't mess up their controller inputs. Oh yeah. Zero miss inputs on the controller screen. That's that's how you know someone is really about to cook you. Is when they come through with the crazy controller inputs. Here we go. Min Min Pyramithra, so we get more Pam. And more Pam on screen. Pam will Let's keep see. your noodles from sticking. Pneumonia <laughs> centering his energy. <laughs> Focusing aligning, up right now. aligning his cheese. Absolutely, the uh, the Pam coming out. I do imagine Mithra versus Min Min seems kind of tough. I feel like Min Min, uh, Mithra has a pretty good time approaching Min Min, uh, but Min Min definitely one of those characters where if you don't know what you're doing, you can get absolutely rolled. Oh yeah, it's Min Min's one of those weird characters because like they have dead zones, as I would to call, of where you can approach because the character is very very horizontal in a lot of their attacks and they'll like verticality comes from like their close range normals and and even then like shock. But you can find a way to bob and weave whenever they have their arms out from like this 45 degree angle or even from above sometimes to re and that's when you got to make the most of it. So like you get in on Min Min, you got to punish. Absolutely. And you really have to be careful about the way you punish because if you overextend with anything and you give Min Min center stage, all of a sudden you got to do all of that work that you just did to get in. You got to do all of that work again. Oh yeah. And that's when things can really start to get rough. Coming Ooh. out with the um, ledge guard from center stage. Maybe coming through is going to take that stock. Yeah, and that's right because that laser will just follow you. Extra range on top of it, so. Are you punishment? What's going to be on stage? Another one. Oh, going a little mixed up with the Chroma Dust that time. Yeah, nice ubbies to uh, um, connect and block that tether recovery. That seems like it's going to be a very strong option to cover that um, area of space that tether recovery needs to reside in. Sage is looking to end this thing quickly. Take another stock very, very fast yeah, because Sage. it gets the back throw and immediately goes to a uh, megawatt. Sage definitely let me rip. This is one of those matches where if I showed you uh, Min Min versus Pyramithra in like 2019 Smash, you'd be like, what is this? <laughs> what is happening? It'd be very confusing. And right away, Sage is able to get another stock off. Sage playing very well with that Min Min, the Megawatt out, looking to swing and swing big and doing so. The Dragon coming through, extending even further off oh my stage. Gosh, and that awesome. just might be it, man. Yeah. I don't think Min Min makes it back from that. Or Power Mythra, rather. Yeah, that is uh, that is a sub-200 three-stock. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Big time. That was a real quick real quick game there from Sage. Pneumonia going to try to adapt, think about it a little bit. Min Min, very difficult character to deal with. We'll see what Pneumonia's got to do about yeah, it. Yeah, Numa having to really just take a deep breath, assess where things went wrong there, try and gather the information as fast as possible. But that's one of the things with Sage. is like Sage won that set. What, sorry, not the set yet. Hold on. Sage didn't win the set. Sage won game one in a very commanding fashion. So, what information does Numa have to go off of? It was just like, oh, it was laser range stuff I couldn't really deal with. Got back thrown at ledge one time, and then it was just, oh, just arm after arm after arm. How do you get in on this? Right, it's hard to, when you have games like that, where it's, it's, it's kind of just like such a strong blowout, it's hard to really adapt going into the next game because of how, how little interactions you have to really work off of and, um, usually in a close game, you can be like, oh, I did this well, did this poorly. But in that game, uh, as Numa, you kind of just got to fully rework your game plan. We'll see if we do have a character counter pick, though. I know Numa does have plenty of characters, but um, I wouldn't imagine that matchup was too bad. However, um, I didn't consider the offstage uh, factor of it when I was talking about that earlier. I feel like Min Min can definitely uh, just hit Pyra and Mithra off the stage and just it's, it's game over from there on out. Yeah, Numa's thinking. Numa's thinking. Hovering, just gonna go with it. Yeah, sticking with it. Go with it. Chi is aligned, mentality is centered. We'll see if Numa can come into this next game with a different type of fire than he had in the first one. Yeah, it, it's rough because, like you said, offstage situation. It's like Chakram, all of uh, all of Pam's recovery is mainly just vertical. You, you know, it's the Smash Four special: drift under stage and go up, drift under stage, go up, and like you can try and mix that up with the, the side bees, but. Uh, with Mithra, but still, you have to be really precise on it because what we saw there, new, uh, Sage was able to just like completely mitigate it uh, and throw, throw out one arm, you get stuffed out. Right, absolutely. However, uh, Numa doing a much better job approaching right now. Um, already has done about 50% of the damage that he did in the entirety of the last game. Um, doing pretty good, just getting these openings, juggling Sage a little bit, and after getting three stocked in the last game, Numa's looking pretty dang good. Yeah, and now offstage already. There you go. Numa trying to uh, push the tempo offstage against Sage. And now, Ooh. Ooh, that was a bit of a rough roll, and now all of a sudden 62%. 
with the Megawatt online. Yeah, Numa makes his way back to the ledge. And here's where Sage is really going to uh, thrive. Has center stage locked up. and just going to keep throwing out these arms and keep Numa at bay. The Megawatt going to come through, and Numa's going to be able to get a little bit of stage positioning off of that. That Pyra side B is going to get a lot of stage positioning. And here we go. Neutral is back in a full effect. That up smash is going to connect, and Numa takes his first stock of the set, and he does it in the um, by, by way of taking a lead here again, too. Yeah, and now still not out of the woods yet. 104%. You want to get as much extra credit on the second stock as possible. Up smash, one of those things, one of uh, Min Min's like, really quick get-off-me tools when you actually do get in, like jab, up smash as well. Got to be careful of that. And now... Going back in with a Nair. Okay. Yeah, nice little uh, landing hitbox on that Nair to get a hit off. And here we go. We got Sage off stage. Numa trying to get way deep for him. Maybe going for a footstool. That's a nice little side B to get a connection. And Numa is really cooking now. Has Sage all the way up to 54% on the second stock. Still living comfy on his first. Oh, going for the buster. Still not going to find it off stage. And it's just going to be a little poke with the with the dragon arm to take that first stock. Go forward throw. Ooh, missed tech with the dash tech landing. Here we go, oh. another connection coming through from Numa. Has Sage way off stage. This could be big. The Ubby going to connect. Sage still makes it back from this. Going to need another ledge okay. guard. And Numa gets it. After such a hard game, up by a full stock right now. Numa has adapted. Numa's feeling better. Numa's feeling comfy. The Pam is out in full effect. A little dash attack to get the connection. But Sage finds something. Numa? Yeah, exactly. It's like night and day difference from game one to game two for Numa. It's just all of a, all of a sudden, all the things that were... They were trying oh, yeah. to get work in game one. It is working in game two. As now they get back on stage and force uh, Sage off stage. Lightning Buster lands nice. again. Oh, looking for a quick end by the Pyro off stage. Ooh, yeah. down air barely going to miss. Numa is really putting on the pressure right now. Down a whole stock is Sage. Uh, nearing closer and closer to that Mithra kill percent, or Pyro kill percent rather. Just about anything is going to connect now. Neutral B is not going to do it. Side B to get some damage on. And Numa is just beckoning right now, constantly pushing down the go button, but not quite able to connect. Yeah, really just pressure, pressure, pressure. Like, what are you going to do out of shield? Whatever you're going to do, I'm right there for you. Okay, down smash as well. Now it's going to see. Ooh. Wow, good job avoiding the Megawatt smash, but now it's still out there. Yeah, it could get a little hairy if uh, if Sage is able to take the stock and then find advantage in the next one right away. Uh, things get real rough, but really all Numa needs is one opening. It's just finding that against Mimmy can be so rough. Up smash, not going to do it. Back throw. Ooh, wow. Staying alive with yep. the side B, but yep. That's that same ledge guard we saw last game, and now Sage has found himself with a chance, but not a big enough chance to avoid that up smash. Good stuff, good stuff there for Numa. Yeah, and Numa bringing it right on back, forcing a game three situation out of Sage. And now, how is Sage going to adapt to what Numa has downloaded? Yeah, we'll see. Um, Numa definitely played much, much better in that second game. The first one was looking a little bit rough. Numa came in with the sauce, though, started playing way better. Sage is going to have to think about it. Think about a play style difference, maybe a switch to Cloud, although I doubt that. The matchup didn't seem to be the problem. Going out, going out to Hollow Bastion this time, and we're sticking with Pam. Are we? Or are we? Or are we? Aligning the cheese, sending the chocolate. <laughs> Numa locking all of the way in. All the way in. Shake it out. Shake Stay it still. Out. Deep breaths. Do whatever you got to do to get locked in as we got game three. Clear Mimin mind, full versus hearts, Pyro full speed Numa ahead. versus Sage. What do we got to start off this game? Hollow Bastion is going to be interesting uh, to see how well Pyre, or, uh, Min Min is going to be able to control under that platform. It's going to be so tough for both of these characters to get out of disadvantage. Yeah, both characters are going to live under that platform like it's a house. So really, and I think Sage is going to have the benefit being under there more than uh, Numa. For sure. Just from a pure range standpoint. Yeah. And now we're seeing Numa carry off stage. And that is assuming Numa is able to, get, or Sage rather, is able to get under the platform consistently. Uh, which Sage, I would imagine, is going to do a good job flushing him out of there. Like a uh, little mice in a rat trap type thing. But uh, Numa able to get back to the ledge just barely with that air dodge. Really bold using that side B off stage. Down air is not going to connect. Playing super in his face, trying to connect with anything. But Sage is doing a good job using the stage uh, control that he has to uh, diversify his options. Extend his uh, move pool. Yeah, and another Foresight coming up big and throwing a down smash. I'm going to make it back right there, but ooh, got to be careful when getting up into a megawatt because you're going to get clocked in the jaw. Yeah, Numa, Numa nodding his head. He saw that coming. He's like, okay, okay. You got that one. 122% on your next stock, though. He could take it right away. 
F smash didn't connect, but there's a Ooh. grab back throw for Min Min. Such high base knockback. That's going to be huge to get Numa into a rough position. Oh, Sage doesn't have the spacing to get to uh, tuck that uh, shot from underneath the stage quite yet. But now here comes here comes Pyra down the air Ooh, up there. there. There it is. Time and time again, the one two. Buckle my shoe. Yep, Numa, Numa was able to find it right away and now trying to find another um, opening here to try and bring this back to a pretty even game. Dash tag gonna miss. Nice little back air for Sage to get himself back onto the ledge. Um, that down smash gonna miss and Numa finds himself quite the punish off of it. Finding advantage, but Sage takes the stage. Starts getting some hits off. And how do you feel about Numa time and time again getting this foresight to really, is the key to getting in on, uh, on yeah. Sage horizontally. It's, it's like, most characters, you uh, shield or dodge one of Min Min's projectiles, or not projectiles, but arms, and then you still have a whole lot of work to do in the way of getting closer and taking up stage control. But uh, Pyramithra, you get that foresight, and you can punish the first hit, and you can punish that neutral getup as well. We got uh, down air into a forward air, a whole lot of damage, and that neutral B is going to take it. Nice little roll read for Numa to take it. Finds himself with a bit of a lead, takes a breath, trying to keep himself calm, but off stage against Min Min, able to make it back. Yep, and here comes Rapid Jab, gonna do more percent keep him off stage here. And how is Sage gonna punish this off stage? There we go, side B to get in four center stage again. Back in on it, okay, and now start one thing at a time. There's nice. the buster, off stage. Ooh, Ooh but that's gonna be stage play from Mega Wild. You gotta be careful, yes, you gotta be careful. We All right, 49% Numa can find one opening and maybe switch to Pyra. Find a big opening, but Sage right now is just trying to find that advantage state that Min Min players can take all the way to the end of the stock. Numa trying his best not to let that happen, does so, gets in, we're resetting neutral here. Bit of a scramble situation that benefits Sage, gets the damage back up. There we go, a couple of up airs coming through, Numa finds himself a little bit of a ladder combo. Sage up to 74. Trying to trying to catch that landing with an up smash, unfortunately missing it now, just resets neutral, gives Sage a bit more percent as well, and now Sage has the lead. Yeah, we're pretty close on percent, another air dodge to the ledge, but not gonna matter. Sage is able to find the um, connection to take the stock, and a bit of a pop-off hits him with the let's go. Numa's not happy about it. Unfortunate scene for Numa. Good stuff from Sage.